Amid growing tensions over North Korea's nuclear and missile provocations, a new point of interest, this time focusing on the regime's ancient yet one of the most dangerous weapons. The more than 70-year-old AN-2 biplanes displayed in Pyongyang's annual military drill are especially dangerous as they have a low radar profile. Our Kim Hyo-san has the details. Images released by North Korean state media show its modernized commando units participating in recent exercises. They drop off from AN-2 biplanes at low altitudes. The biplanes fly at low altitudes while paratroopers jump off the plane like hailstones. The AN-2 transport aircraft, developed by the former Soviet Union in 1947 for crop dusting purposes, have also been on display in Pyongyang's annual military drills. The decades-old AN-2 have been described by a U.S. media outlet as the North's most dangerous weapons, as they have an incredibly low radar profile. They are made largely of wood and canvas, making them difficult to detect using conventional radar, effectively giving them a limited degree of stealth. While it's crucial for South Korea to be able to detect enemy movements at an early stage, Seoul's military does not yet have a clear strategy to counter low-altitude infiltration by these biplanes. While the South Korean military is devising plans to deal with planes flying at low altitudes, it's impossible to monitor the nation as a whole, so there are still loopholes. Pyongyang is known to have over 300 AN-2 aircrafts that can carry a dozen of soldiers each. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.